Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I'm going to show you my top 5 favorite horses to use in Red Dead Redemption 2. These are horses that are both in online and single player so it's kind of a mix um, and I will show you a mix of them as well. So these are my favorite horses that I like to use. I already did this like a couple months ago but since there are quite a few new horses I decided to do it again because I kind of have a different opinion right now um, than I did back then. So my for my top or for my number 5 actually it's the Raven Blackshire. So the Raven Blackshire is actually one of the more rarer horses there's one way you can get it and if you don't get it then you cannot get it for the rest of the game and that's actually in the very first couple of missions where you have to go to the stables it's actually the first mission you unlock a stable and you can decide to sell this horse and buy a new one or keep it and uh, then if you keep it you get this horse for the rest of the game if you don't decide to get rid of it like i did um and this is actually my i'm actually starting a new gameplay or a new game through um and I actually decided to keep it and I really like it. You know, the Shire is probably one of the better horses in stable wise than in, um, or in stability than in, than in other things. You know, it's not that great. You know, the, the, the acceleration is not good, the speed is not good, but uh, the stableness is definitely one of the better horses um, in, the, in the game. So I decided to keep this one just because, you know, it's a, it's a big horse. It's a cool looking horse. It's also kind of a rare horse. If you don't keep it, then you cannot get it. Uh, again, so that's why I decided to keep it uh, just because otherwise you cannot get this horse again So if you like me and you're starting out a new a new gameplay or new game through and then you uh, you find I want to get this horse and definitely Definitely keep this horse because it's definitely a cool horse and once you like get it to level 4 to stableness and all that um, It's definitely a good stable horse and you know, it's just it's just nothing wrong with the horse except yeah It's a little bit slow the acceleration not too good, but I think not a lot of us care about uh, the acceleration and speed um, in this single player gameplay so definitely keep this horse if you can it's just a cool all-around horse you know the shire is one of the bigger horses in the game so this is definitely worth having and especially you know it's a uh, it's the raven black coats it's probably one of the more rarer coats in the game uh, like I said, you can only get this by the by one certain mission, so we'll definitely uh, keep it up and definitely keep it because you know it's a it's a cool horse and like I said, it's it's my top five horse. Okay, so for number four, I actually decided to go with the actually one of the newer horses, actually the Andalusian Perlino. This horse was actually free, I think it was um, like a couple of months ago. You can you were able to buy this or get this one for free. Um, I think only the PlayStation 4 or something had it for free, um, and I still use it. It's a it's a cool horse. I have it to to um to level four, and I like this horse. You know the coat, especially the coat. As you can see, I just um I just it's a wet coat. When it's wet, it shines, and I just really like this coat. It's just an amazing, cool coat. Um, and you no, know, I kind of like the way it looks with the. Uh, with the uh, mohawk and all that it kind of like, looks cool like i said you know it's it's an andalusian so it means that it's stable as well speed is not too good but it's not too bad as well so you can definitely uh, keep up with your friends in online if you decide to uh, get this one and have some fun with your friends so again it's a cool horse there's nothing too special about this horse the skin or the coat is probably like i said one of the rarer coats as well there's only one horse i believe uh, this one has the perlino um, or maybe two, I think, and that's the Perlino coat. So, like I said, you know, it shines when you go through, through to water when it's raining. You know, it shines when the sun shines on it. It's just a cool all-around horse. The stableness is also decent because it's an Andalusian. Um, they are pretty stable in general, and the speed, like I said, it's not too great, but it's not too bad. You got a good amount of health with this horse. It's actually one of the better health horses. You got nine health in total, and the stamina is also decent. I think you got around seven, um, seven, six stamina in total when you get it to level four. So it's definitely a good horse. I definitely recommend you guys get this one if you like it. Um, overall, just and if you're on PS4 and you can still buy it, definitely buy it. I have no idea if you still can buy it, but uh, yeah. So for my next horse is actually the Criollo. The coat that I'm using is the Bayframe Overo and this horse I just like the coat of it you know it's it's such a cool looking coat I really like the coat of it it's a good horse in general as you can see the speed is good the health is good the acceleration is good the ex like everything on this horse is good the stamina is good um, and the main thing I like this horse is just because the coat of it you know the coat is one of my favorite coats in the game um, 
again, it's a cool looking coat. It's a good horse. No, the stableness of this horse is not that great. It's not as good as the Shira and Illusion um, in the previous spots. But just because it's just a fast horse, you know, I think it's it's probably one of the fastest horses in the game. You know, with that with the seven uh, with the seven speed. Um, Again, the health is is decent, but the stamina is definitely uh, is definitely a good up there. It's on like nine, so once you get it to uh, the full max or stableness max, everything max, then this is definitely a good horse. Again, you can bump the speed up with those stirrups and the saddles. Same for the acceleration, um, but if you can get it to level four then you'll get those health and stamina upgrades. So it's definitely worth it. As you can see in the bottom left, um, you see the stealth or you see the health and the um, stamina. So it's definitely a cool horse. I definitely recommend you guys buying this one. Um, keep in mind, this is a level 20 of the Criello. So definitely wait for that one. Um, but it's just an all around cool horse. So definitely get this one if you don't already have one. Overall, as you can see, it's just a cool looking horse right now. I think it's probably one of the cooler horses in the game. You know, this size looks good. Just everything on this horse is okay. You know, it's not short, it's not small, it's not too big and all that. So it's just a decent horse. I really like it. And yeah, just get this horse if you like it as well. I think it's 950. Um, make sure you buy the level 21 though. Okay, so for my number two, um, this is actually the Breton. Kind of surprising, the Breton. Um, I was actually thinking Breton one and the other one that's now the one. For two, but I decided to go with the Breton and two. Um, but the Breton, what can you say? Probably the best horse in the game. Just you know, as you can see, stamina is filled max. The health is nine. Speed you can get up to seven. Um, this is like I said in my previous video. This is probably the best horse in the game, if not the best horse in the game. You know, it's such a good horse. You know, the only downside I don't think, or the only downside I feel with this horse. It's just a little bit too small for me. You know, I like bigger horses. Um, also, guys, this is the level 20 of the Breton. You have the level 1 to 10 and then the level 20. So definitely, if you want to buy a Breton, then definitely go with the level 21 because they're just, like I said, they're probably the best horse in the game, if not the best horse uh, in general. They're, they're so good. You know, everything about this horse is good. They have good stableness. They have good health. They have max stamina. They have good speed. They have good acceleration. Again, if you want to pump those speeds up and acceleration, you can do that with these stirrups and saddles. So there's just no reason why you shouldn't buy a Breton. The only reason I see is that you don't like the coat of it. You don't like the look of the, the horse. But otherwise, I don't think there's a reason to not buy this horse. It's only $950, so again, $950, probably the best horse in the game. It's a, it's a good buy, you know. Um, I've talked about this horse many times, but it's just a, it's just a cool looking horse as well. It looks cool, but like I said, the only downside I feel is that it's a little bit too small for the size of it, because it's, you know, it's a big horse, so it's a good size of it, um, but it's just too small. But yeah, if you want to buy this horse, like I said, buy the level 21 of the bounty hunter role so you have to be level 20 of the bounty hunter role to actually get this horse but it's definitely definitely worth picking up too because like i said it's the best horse in the game okay so for my number one you probably guessed it it's probably my favorite horse of all time and this one is the turkman so the turkman not much i can say about it it's probably one of my favorite horses you know the stamina is good the health is 10 the speed you can bump it up to an eight or a nine even uh, acceleration you can bump it up as well the, it's just my favorite horse i like it you know this coat the gold coat is it's it's a cool looking coat i like the coat um it's probably one of my favorite coats in the game as well so i mean i've talked about this horse a lot i mean that is he's also number one in my other list in my previous list um so yeah i just use it i have one in online as well but i decided to go with the gold one because I think the gold one, especially when you play in single player uh, and you have uh, Arthur on here and you have the iconic uh, outfit of Arthur, I definitely think that outfit fits the horse or that fits the, the coat. Because, you know, it's kind of the same-ish colors. Um, but it's an all-around cool horse. I like it. There's not much I can say about this horse, to be honest. It's just a cool horse. I like it so much that I use it probably all the time. Um, if I'm not like doing other things or testing other horses, then I mostly use it. Again, like I said, I bought this one also in online. Um, it's not level 4 yet, but I think it's like level 3 or something like that. So, yeah, I've used it. Like I said, 
I've been using it since day one and still using it. It's my favorite horse in the game. It's just a cool looking horse. It looks cool. You know, the Breton looks bulky and a little bit too small. If the Breton was bulkier or if the Breton was as bulky as he is right now and just a little bit bigger like the Shire, then it will be my favorite horse. But I just like the looks of this horse and that's why it's my number one. Okay, guys. So if you like the video, then definitely like and subscribe. Leave your top five in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.